Yeah, those buzzers make me nervous. Okay, here we go. Oh shit, I missed. How could you miss at that range, old guy? Ah shit, I'm hurt now. Oh, I forgot about that. Not good, not good. <laughs> oh shit! Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 18. I'm an old guy gaming, and we played this game on insane difficulty. Nightmare speed, zombies run all of the time, day and night. And uh, it's really hard, and it's really fun. <laughs> okay, so uh, I spent the night in the desert and picked, um, 80, I got 88 aloes and some more yucca. I found some meat stew and an ice chest. And we are a bit un <clears throat> encumbered here. We also have Mr. Biker Zombie over there, which we do not want to tangle with. But I came across this little, you know, broken freeway overpass thingamadoodle. Those buzzards have been... Okay, good, we got rid of him. Those buzzards have been with me pretty much the whole time, but they don't... They haven't actually attacked me. I mean, they come, like, really close, but they don't actually attack, so... Uh, that doesn't mean they wouldn't. All right, so I think there's a Shotgun Messiah... Uh, box up on top of this. At least there used to be. So we're going to check this out. There might be a sleeper or two up there though too. And if there is, <clears throat> we're probably just going to have to blast them with our uh, AK. Because I don't know. Uh... Yeah, see these guys get, have gotten like really close, like swooped in right, right by my head, but they haven't actually attacked me. Because I'm not hurt. So theoretically... They're not supposed to attack me unless I'm hurt. But like I said, I mean, I don't know that I would... Uh, that guy's stuck in there. I don't know that I would bet money on that, though. Okay, let's get up here. Um, yeah, see, we do have sleepers up here. I don't know... I don't know what kind of sleepers are up there. Oh, we could be hearing sleepers in there, actually, now that I think about it. This is hella risky here. Oh, okay, so th there is a shotgun messiah case up there, and there's one businessman dude. Alright, so, um, I don't think there's any way I can quietly dispatch him. We could potentially get lucky with a headshot. <clears throat> um, so let's, let's do this. Let's put... Uh, no, that's not a good idea. All right, what we're going to do is we're going <clears> to <throat> whack him with a crossbow. And if that doesn't kill him, we'll switch over to the AK and finish him off. And hopefully we don't attract more attention. Yeah, those buzzers make me nervous. Okay, here we go. Oh, shit, I missed. How could you miss at that range, old guy? Ah, shit, I'm hurt now. Oh, I forgot about that. Not good, not good. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, not good. Okay, here. Okay. Oh, man, no, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, here. Okay, come here, asshole. Okay, we got one more. Where is he? Whew! Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez, that was lucky. Oh, my God, four buzzards. Oh, I, I forgot, too, that I had put the... I, I forgot that I had put in the semi-trigger mod on my AK. So I was holding it down, you know, to like blast and one shot comes out. It was like, <laughs> oh man, that was, that was a, a comedy of errors. But you know what? We survived it. We did get infected, of course, but we can handle it with one of those. Phew. Okay. I'm glad we got more aloe because we just used up all of our freaking bandages. All right. Let's go ahead and start making cream there. Um... 
Let's... Is this going to give us a heat? Oh, wow. There is a 4% chance. Uh, you know what? We better not take a chance of... Get a food poisoning. Let's go ahead... Well, actually, where are we at with our food? We should look at that first. Actually, we're not in bad shape at all with the food. We just need a drink. And then let's make a first aid bandage with that first cream. Sounds like we've got a sleeper underneath us too, so we'll have to worry about that in a while. I want to... Actually, he's not... He doesn't sound agitated though, so he's probably just wandering around. Uh, okay, so let's take this. Um... Now, let's loot these buzzards, because we should get a lot of feathers and stuff off of them. Yeah, I... <laughs> that was... That was just funny as hell. That's all there is to it. And more importantly, we survived it. <laughs> like, oh, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> the things I get myself into, man, I'll tell you what. Oh, wow, there was five buzzards. These assholes have been, like, circling me all night long, too. But they didn't, like I said, they didn't bother me until we got hurt. And then, man, they just came in for the kill. We got 15 rotten meat, a bunch of bones. That's amazing. Very good, because we need this for farming. So, you know, that's pretty valuable stuff. All right, let's, um... Oh. It almost looks like this has a wet texture to it now. All right, let's go ahead and uh, see what's inside of this crate. Now, oh, by the way, I did get the next point, and I put it into Gunslinger, like I said it was going. And I'm wondering if that was maybe a mistake. And the reason being is because in order to make one of these, you have to have three pistol parts. The only way to get pistol parts is to get a pistol. And the whole reason I did this in the first place is so I could make a pistol. Um, the only advantage would be is if we found a shit pistol, uh, you know, we could at least make a durability too. But, uh, but what I'm talking about is... So you have to have three handgun parts to make a handgun. And the only way to get those is to either find the parts themselves or find a handgun and take it apart. I've been I've been keeping the graphics on medium, so it looks like crap, but that seems to be the only way I can get halfway decent frames consistently. Junk turret parts and rifle parts. It's not what I wanted. I wanted handgun parts. However, we do have some 7.62 ammo again, so that means we can put this back on our toolbar. Hmm. Okay, well, and see the, the medium graphics like completely crap out the shopping carts. I mean, that that's just nasty. All right, maybe the car will yield something good. Those are good. I'll take that. This will scrap. Okay, so now we are four slots encumbered. Um, we could maybe get rid of the fat, I guess. That's not absolutely essential. But I think I want to hang on to everything else. Okay. Let's... You know what? Let's cancel both of those. I want to make one more bandage just so we get up to... Back up to full health, or at least close to it. <clears throat> Actually, let's make as many bandages, bandages as we can. Uh, what was it that we were scrapping? Uh, I don't know. Oh. It must have already... I guess it must have already scrapped. Because I, th I thought it was a. I thought it was like a, a can, like a food can. Food can can. Okay, let's put those down there. Uh, we'll get going back on this again. And let's pop one more bandage. So that way we're back at full health. Phew. Okay. Well, that's too bad we didn't find any pistol parts, but it was worth a try. All right. So, is there any nasties around? We've been, you know, fighting the heat, of course, too. I did make myself a plant fiber hat. But I think we're done with the desert for now, so we could actually ditch that. And uh, let's go here. Yeah, let's just... Does that have a mod in it? No, it's just a cosmetic slot. Okay, so yeah, so let's get rid of that, and we can put our football helmet back on. That gives us another slot, and a little more armor now, too. Okay, here we go.
Um, there is a safe in this house. I wonder if we should try it. Eh, loot it. Did we load our shotgun back up? Yeah. We've got seven shots left in the crossbow. Um, this house usually does have sleepers in it, though. right as I shot. Hold still, Spaz. Spaz Maruski. Mr. Tourette's. And we're losing stamina by holding that. Okay, you know what? Let's just... Would not mind trying to get at that safe. But we're gonna. This guy's gonna be a problem. We either need to kill him or get rid of him. And since we're encumbered, let's see if we can get rid of him. Go get it. Go get it. There you go. <laughs> okay, so there's a safe right behind this wall here. Ah, shit. Now he's over there. Biker and Baldy. Okay. That might have gotten them to bugger off, hopefully. Okay, so let's um let's pop a hole in the wall right here. This is flagstone, so it's real easy to break. We might be able to just pull this off without having to actually go inside. So we have 11 lockpicks on us. Whatever we do loot out of here, though, it's really going to encumber us. Huh. Okay, well, let's see if we can make this work. Quarter of the way there. Halfway. Come on, we need handgun parts. Handgun parts, handgun parts, handgun parts. Nice, we opened that whole thing with one lockpick. Ooh, that's loud. Bunker, buster mod, and six arrows. <laughs> All right. I mean, that's not a bad mod, but I was kind of hoping for a... I heard footsteps. I was kind of hoping for... um. What does this do? It means it's more damage against stone. Okay. For handgun parts. All right, let's skedaddle on out of here. We are six slots over encumbered. Well, five slots after we put that back down there. Let's keep uh, let's keep stone down there. We really need one cloth fragment. Wait, how many do we need for a bandage? We need two. Okay, let's get another. Uh, let's find some cotton. There's some right there. And we'll make um another piece of cloth. And then we can make another bandit. Bandage. Uh oh, we're gonna make the cloth first. Okay. So that freed up a slot. We don't need to carry two things of clay with us. That frees up another slot. Don't think there's anything else I want to get rid of, though. Um, so, I guess we'll put Grandpa's Moonshine down there in case we need it, need it in an emergency. <clears throat> We're starting to get kind of low on shoddy shells, too. Okay, guys, well, let's see. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Um, I'm not really... I'm not really in a good position to be fighting anything because we're slow. 
So I guess I'll probably just work my way back to the base. There's some more nitrate. I was marking nitrate, but I'm starting to see it all over the place, so I don't think I'll continue doing that. Uh, but I might stop off at the, the trader along the way and pick up the gunpowder that I made over there. We do have another buried supplies cache to do too, but we can't do that with a full inventory. And I'll keep looting bird's nests along the way. We've hit a lot of bird's nests in the desert, so we have 183 feathers. Man, I would have figured we'd have more than six eggs by now, but okay, I guess it is what it is. With as many nests as we've actually hit. And... Whereabouts are we anyway? Oh, okay. So the trader's right here. We might as well just go home and drop stuff off first before we go to the trader. Then we can actually do the, the quest. Anyway, at some point I still have to get back over to the original rooftop and get the rest of the crap that's over there too. Oh, too, many too many things to do. Problem is when it, whenever I go set out to, to do that, I end up looting stuff and I don't have room for it. <laughs> but uh, my main objective, of course, well, last night was just to get the aloe so we could you know, make more bandages because we were pretty much out. I tend to use a lot of bandages. If you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> oh man, that buzzard fight, that was something else, man. I thought for sure I was a goner. Our shoddy. Our shoddy's what saved us. Well, we, we got a few more shots off with the AK first, but just a very, very chaotic situation. And it's not like I could stop and take aim. It was very much a spray and pray kind of thing. And that old cliff right there. All right, guys. Well, I think I'll cut the camera here, <clears throat> um, and I'll just I'll probably leave the recording running in case something crazy happens. But if not, um, I will meet you. I mean, if if nothing real crazy happens, I'll probably meet you back after I've got the buried treasure undug, and we'll go from there. But if if something else happens in between, then to bring you back, I will do that at that time. That looks kind of cool. A little moss on the rocks there. Okay, be back in a bit. All right, guys, I'm almost home, uh, but I thought I'd stop off at this place. Uh, there's a couple things to loot, including a bookcase over there. <clears throat> so let's, uh, I killed a couple more zombies, too. Uh, stun baton schematic. Don't, don't we already know that? Oh, well, it's only worth 160, so if we, if we do, it's not a big deal. Yaka seed, you know what, let's hang on to that. What the hell? Because we're going to, at some point, we're going to do a garden. And, uh, we might as well just keep the seed. We're, like, really encumbered now, though. Nothing in there. I mostly wanted to just hit this bookcase over here. Um. Can we get to it from down here? <clears throat> One of these, uh, ruined places, too, we, I saw a safe in. Drunk. And disorderly challenge? Nah. I don't really like those. Never really cared much for those little mini quest things. I wouldn't mind them so much if they weren't timed, but some of them are like damn near impossible to do within the time limit. You know, like go kill ten bears with your bare teeth in ten minutes kind of thing. <laughs> oh, look at that asshole running right into my spikes. What a dummy. Mr. Tourette's, you're not very smart. We're not very smart, dude. <laughs> Look at that shot. Beautiful. Whoa. He like the zigged right at the last moment there. Had to gut shot him. Uh, all right. I wish I could find that other, that other uh, ruined building that we were walking by it, and there was a safe just right, right out in plain view. And I said, "Hey, look at that safe!" But we were doing something else at the time, so I didn't actually bother to get it. Um. Yeah, so I don't remember exactly where that was. We are, like, so full right now, though. 
That I will take. That I will not. So I think... Is this... Uh, yeah, this must be the shotgun side factory buyer house. I'll take all of that stuff. Especially since we're so close to home here. The cars look like shit, too. <laughs> they look terrible. I'm starting to hang on to paper because uh, we need to start thinking about making some shotgun shells. This shotgun has actually been quite useful to us. Um, yeah, this is our place right over here. Now, I made the uh, I made something here with some spikes. I was telling you guys I was going to do this little booby trap idea. And so the idea here is I kind of created like a funnel. Now, I guess I don't didn't get them quite even, but I, I was doing it in the dark, but that's okay. So basically the idea is, you know, we, we funnel them through here. I run through and I very quickly turn around and then, you know, plop a, a spike down to kind of trap them in there. And then, um, you know, try try that and see if it works. I don't know. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. We might be too fat to jump across our little gap here. If we are, we'll have to nerd bowl up. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, let's try it one more time. Try it one more time. Okay, here we go. Yeah, not not quite. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna need a little bit of help there. We got fat rolls, man. There we go. Okay, so let's unload this stuff and then uh, head over. And, it's sixteen forty, so the day's getting on. It's already day eleven too. My goodness, hard night's gonna be on us again. So I'm just going to unload all this crap that I have, um, and then we're going to go do that buried treasure quest. This time I'll keep my shovel with me, and uh, and then see if we can hit the trader before dark. So I'll see you guys over there uh, in just a little bit. Okay, here it is. Um, I don't know if we're going to have time to get back to the to the trader, though. Uh, let's mark the trader. It's not too terribly far away with a quick uh, mark. So that was southwest. Okay. Um, let's get this ready, and here we go. Go, 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 go. Ah! <laughs> it's going to be tight getting there on time. It's going to be really tight. And hopefully we don't run into any more Zeeks along the way. Hopefully we have enough stamina to get rid of these guys. I'd rather not waste my ammo on them. We should probably think about putting another point into um, cardio two at some point. There's, it's never, never a bad thing to put a point in in this game. All right, hurry, hurry, hurry. Here is your reward. Uh, each iron day, gloves or nine first aid bandages. You know, I don't I don't think we have any good gloves armor wise, so let's take those. Uh jobs, fetch clear zombies, buried supplies. I'm just gonna keep minute, pumping out I the buried supplies. Enough, I'll probably start doing those off camera though, since you guys have seen me do enough of them now. We got 146 gunpowder there, and we leveled up. Very nice. Alright. So where is this next buried supply? Oh, it's really close. Holy Moses, it's like right over there. Right on the edge of this building. Uh, it almost looks like it's in the building. Hmm. Okay. All right, guys. Well, let's see. Yeah, we won't get this one done in time. Plus, I'm already full again. I think, you know what I'm going to do, though? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... Yeah, let's wear these. So that's going to help with our armor. It's going to make us a little slower, too, but that's okay. Um, If I go do the buried supply quest now, we're going to be super encumbered for one thing. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go drop all this stuff back off at the house and um, maybe make a few more... Hmm, 146 rounds would make us about 40-ish or so... Uh, AK rounds. 
I was kind of hoping, you know, to save that stuff for pistols, though. But, um, we don't have a pistol and we have an AK, is the thing. Uh, or we could try and make shotgun shells. I don't know if, if that's unlocked, if something that's locked behind something else or not. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go back to the house. I'm going to unload the stuff. I'm probably going to go get the rest of the crap from the other base over uh, during the night uh, to the new base so I, so I get that off my to-do list. And then uh, I might go ahead and do that buried supply quest just to get, you know, it done too. And then we'll go from there, okay? Uh, it is day 11, so it'll be 12, day 12 tomorrow. Hey, how about that? I know how to count. You guys impressed? <laughs> uh, I'm saying that in the context of we got to start thinking about Horde Night again here fairly soon. Um, now, the other thing we need to be, we should start thinking about is... Um, Maybe getting a bicycle. Now, the thing about that is that we could potentially come across the schematic at some point. So I guess the question is, do we want to spend a point, you know, skill points on that? Or do we want to hold out until we get the schematic? It would certainly allow us to move around better and a little more safely. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I think what we really need to start doing is starting to, you know, do some more POIs. I've been doing a lot of other stuff, and we haven't really done much with POIs yet. And that's, you know, that's where we're going to find the loot. So I think we'll, what we'll try and do, guys, in the next episode is uh, we'll, we'll start hitting some POIs. Let's do that. We need to do that. We need to find some shotgun messiah crates uh and more specifically some handgun parts so we can actually make the pistol i think i have everything else i need for it except for just those parts there um and i mean you know we've got the shotgun messiah factory there but oh my god that thing place is so dangerous for us to be going into right now that's a that has a shamway foods attached to it that's kind of weird is that all the same building Oh, you know what? This isn't a shotgun Messiah factory. This is a Shamway factory. No wonder we had all the Shamway crates in there. I, I, I thought that was weird. It even says that. Learn how to read, okay? Yeah, that's a Shamway factory. Huh. Because that's the tower that we got, you know, the AK and the other stuff off of the top of. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. That's new, because I don't think there was Shamway factories in Alpha 17. Not that I remember, anyway. Not that I remember. All right. Well, I think this is probably a good place to wrap up the episode, guys. So, um, I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Share out the video and uh, leave a comment. I do appreciate, the, appreciate all those things. Um, I am going to be gone from October the 14th to through October the 23rd. Not sure if I'll have enough videos to keep them pumping out every day while I'm gone. It's possible the last couple of days, last few days, uh, during that time, there may not be any videos, but when I get back on the 23rd, then we'll resume and keep pumping them out. Okay. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.